In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your rock tumbler. A rock tumbler is a great tool to use to polish sterling silver or gold filled findings that have become tarnished over time. You can also use a rock tumbler to work hardened fused fine silver rings. So here is our rock tumbler and inside the barrel, we already have one pound of stainless steel shot. I just want to show you what that shot looks like. So here's the stainless steel shot. I've got that. I have one pound in there already. Let's put my lid back on here and go through the rest of my tools. So then we also have a Shine Bright, which is a burnishing compound, and this is made just to clean and polish up your jewelry. If you don't want to use Shine Bright, you can also use the original Blue Dawn. Just a couple of drops will work for that. Just make sure it is the original Blue Dawn unscented. Um, we also have a strainer. And then here I have the items that I want to polish. And these are just some fused fine silver rings here. So I'm going to get set up and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so I've already filled up my barrel here with about two cups of water. You just want to make sure you have enough water that's covering over all your shot. And then I also added um, about a half a teaspoon of the Shine Bright in there for the compound. So that's in there already. If you are going to use the original Blue Dawn, you just need one or two drops. So now I'm just ready to close up my barrel and start tumbling. So to do that, you take this inner lid and just um, set it down in there. And you just want to make sure that it actually seats in there all the way. So that one is in there. It's nice and sealed. Then you put on the outer lid. Again, just making sure it's really sealed on there. Then you put on the washer and then you put on the nut. And this top part here has a little bit of groove. That's just kind of to hold on. So just make sure that's on the top part. You want to tighten it, but don't over tighten it because you could strip that out. And then before I start tumbling, I always turn it like this and just spin it around just to make that sure that no water is leaked in my hand because you don't want to like put it on your tumbler and leave it for a half hour and then realize that it's been leaking out the water the whole time. So then you just put the barrel after it's all sealed up and ready to go in your rock tumbler. And I always recommend um, just plugging it in for about 20 to 30 minutes to um, work hard in your pieces. If you're just going to be polishing something, you could probably leave it in there from like 15 to 25 minutes. So you let that run. And then when you pull it out, you'll have nice polished work hardened pieces. So we're just going to let this run and then we'll be right back. So my tumbler has been running for about a half hour now. So I went ahead and I opened up the barrel and I dumped the contents into my strainer over the sink. And then I went ahead and just rinsed it with cool water to um, wash off any of the soap or the shine bright compound that we had in there. And then I just normally take like a wad of paper towels and then I just kind of roll it around in there just to get the majority of the water off the shot and the components. So now I'm at the point where I can just go through here and pick out my components and set them aside here. And then once you have all your components out, you're going to want to just leave your shot out um, so that it can continue to dry. Cause even though I've dried it with the paper towel, there probably still is some moisture in there. And um, just to take good care of your shot, because it will last a really long time if you take care of it, just make sure it's completely dry before you put it away. So what I normally do is I have just a dedicated strainer that is for my rock tumbler. And so I will just leave the shot in the strainer for a couple of days until it's fully um, dry. And then you could either store the shot back in your barrel after your barrel is dried, or you could um, store it in a plastic bag, or you could just store it in your strainer if you like. So just make sure it's completely dry though before you put it back in this barrel and that the barrel is dry. You just don't want any moisture in there. So now I've got these nice little components here that are all polished and work hardened up and they are ready to be made into jewelry. And that's all there is to the rock tumbler. 